Is time travel possible? Well, of course time travel is possible. How did this recording, this recording that I'm making right now, get to you? Uh, it traveled It traveled through space, like my, my image and my voice are being recorded, encoded in bits, uploaded to YouTube, wherever YouTube is, uh, and then you're watching it somewhere else. You're not in this room with me. So it traveled through space, but you're watching this in my future, and I'm recording this in your past. I mean... In the instant of you watching this right now, I could be dead, which is super weird. So let's not talk about it more. And in the instant of me recording this with my microphone and my camera, you may not even be alive yet. So how could how could someone who might be dead talk to someone who might not even be born yet if time travel is impossible? Is impossible. This recording traveled through space to get to you and it traveled through time. It traveled from the past into the future to get to you. So time travel is possible. And the rate of going into the future does change. It's not universal. Different clocks in the universe tick at different rates. This is the core of special relativity. Not all clocks in our universe are synchronized and not just because we're bad at setting clocks, there's something fundamental going on. The faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. This is a consequence of special relativity. And special relativity is a bedrock formulation of basic physics that's been tested a bajillion times. In fact, you are testing it right now. Or maybe not like now, now, but I bet you in the past day, you yourself have tested special relativity. And that's because GPS satellites, which give you your very precise precision on your phone, they have to account, their clocks are so precise, they have to account for the fact that they're in orbit around the Earth and they're going very, very, very fast. The clocks in those satellites are ticking at a different rate than clocks on the ground. One second to a satellite is a different length of time than one second on the ground. And if we didn't account for that difference between the tick rate of clocks in orbit around the Earth and clocks on the ground, your GPS would be wrong. It would give you an incorrect answer. You would not be at Starbucks for your coffee meeting. I don't know if you did that. I don't, I don't do that, but it's presumably some people do. You would not be there. You would be somewhere else. You'd be at the wrong place because your GPS would be wrong and everybody's GPS would be wrong. So every time you're using a GPS, you are testing, in a way, special relativity and general relativity because there's an extra time dilation effect the closer you are to a gravitating body and further uh, the math gets, uh, well, complicated as you might imagine. This is our universe. Time travel is possible. Clocks tick at different rate. You can skip forward into the future. All you do is go really, really, really fast. The faster you get to speed of light, the, clo the slower your clock runs compared to the rest of the stationary universe. And so you can blast off to the center of the Milky Way galaxy, going really close to the speed of light, turn around, come back. 20, 30, 40 years have passed over you and tens of thousands of years have passed on the earth. That's all it takes. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel, contribute to the Patreon, watch another video. It's all fun. Thanks again for watching.